good morning and the sea is pretty wild today and I'm here to talk about boundaries so let's see where we go with this one so when people talk about boundaries they usually refer to in the context of well yeah I'll do that but I won't do this that kind of thing oh yeah that's acceptable that's unacceptable that situation now there's someone who said to me the thing about you is you haven't got any boundaries and not very long after saying this interestingly enough the person chose to put up their own boundary and not communicate with me anymore very grateful for that piece of insight because I've never seen myself in that way I do remember being in a relationship with somewhere where she would talk about boundaries quite a lot. She said, I'm putting down the boundary about this, I'm putting down the boundary about that. Never really understood what she was on about, to be honest. So I'm choosing to make this film at a really exciting boundary between the three elements, because we've got the most unobvious one, which is the air above us, and then there's the earth, which I'm literally standing on in terms of a big rock and then there's the element of the water and we can see how fierce it looks so what I've realised about myself is that especially this year as I'm giving a lot to my mum I have less to give to other people it's becoming more of a difficulty to function and I feel I have less and less energy and I notice this particular pattern and I'm going to see if I can talk about it to you. So I find that there can be a situation that arises where I can see that someone needs something and I'll start giving to that person and this could be someone who I am in an intimate relationship with or it could be someone I've only met a couple of times there's a great variation here but when I can sense what that person needs what they want what would nourish them my automatic nature is to actually give that person what it is that they need now if they need just a little bit there's really no problem but if they need a lot then my natural tendency is to give to them to satisfy that need now when they sense there's an upside to this, it makes me a, a liked person, a popular person but the real downside to it is what it does to me because if I've only got so much energy, if I've only got five units of energy in any given moment and someone comes along and needs a lot my automatic tendency is to give all that energy to the point that I haven't actually got any for myself anymore and this literally left me in the situations in the past where I would find myself lying down maybe on the grass outside in the city or maybe even on the pavement because I actually didn't have any energy to move one foot in front of the other and that was known as, to me as ME that was an illness I had to do with chronic lack of energy and I learned many years later through my great friend Paz that that's actually because I was overstimulated and had the experience of electrosensitivity being so sensitive to energy is getting overwhelmed by them but let's put the conversation back onto boundaries because if you someone who's got healthy boundaries you're going to find it easy to say no to people and if boundaries are an issue you might find that really hard and it makes it even more problematical if you've got a strongly empathic nature so if you've got a strongly empathic nature and you have little or nothing in the way of boundaries then you might find you experience life rather like me so really what I wanted to call this film is living without boundaries or life without boundaries because it's very hard that's what I find I get a lot of satisfaction and enjoyment in my life and I meet lots of great people but because I tend to give them to the detriment of myself that means I'm constantly in a situation where I'm doing something and I don't even know I'm doing it. That's a problem I got with the boundary issue. So when I'm overgiving, 
I don't actually know I'm doing it until I reach a point where my energy levels have dropped so low. And then what I need to do is often quite abruptly draw back. So in the situation yesterday where I was giving a lot, um, three times actually, three, three separate interactions with three different people gave a lot. And in the evening I got this phone call from a fourth person. And that put me into a state of panic. And I became quite frantic so I realised actually I was in the middle of a recharge session. I was actually chilling out, taking it very steady, very quiet. So I knew I needed to recharge. But here's a fourth person and I don't have the energy to be able to give in the phone call. I'm very lucky. I've got very few phone calls in my life. I think that's to do with some kind of unconscious intention because generally speaking it's not something I've got the energy to do. So that brought about the panic. I thought, shit, I need to communicate to this person really fast but I haven't got energy for this call but we need to share a bit of information. So I hope I can do that without upsetting the person or causing them to feel overwhelmed or disturbed. So I did the best I did. I don't think I handled it out well actually, so I sent a text this morning to apologise if I came across as abrupt, so I felt I needed to do that. So living without boundaries is really problematical, I find, because unfortunately still, after all these years of living without boundaries, this is what... I've been living without boundaries for 57 years now. It's 10 years, I was alive for 10 years, and that's when my boundaries got fundamentally violated in a kind of a, in an irreparable way. So 57 years of managing without a sense of this, and still after all this time, the only way I notice that my boundaries are being violated and giving too much is when my energy drops to a really low level. So that's really frustrating because I'd like to be able to pick up on it much sooner, obviously. And yet nothing I've done, more than 20 years of therapy, all sorts of things, which might practice just training, working with other people, still it's an issue. And it's still something I struggle with on a daily basis and a moment by moment basis. So I thought I'd share this with you and invite you to share with us in the comment section what is it that you find in your life that despite all the things you've been through, all the learning you've got, all the insights that you still really struggle with? There's a reason I'm doing this. First of all, I'm saying this because I don't have boundaries. That's, that's a big joke. I share about really personal stuff because I don't have boundaries. And that can be really difficult for other people. There are times, I'll give you this one. This is a classic to me. And I will irritate at least one person when I say this. When my wife died of cancer, that irritates one person. That triggers them straight away if they're watching. I know that. They've told me numerous times. But when she died of cancer, a few days later, I was invited out to a party by a friend. Because I didn't have any boundaries. I said, yes. Went along to the party. And then I'd been there maybe three minutes. And a very nice young woman walks up to me and says, oh, hello there. How are you? What's going on for you? And I said, well, my wife just died. Oh, really? I'm sorry. Oh, what happened? Oh, she died of cancer. Oh, yeah, she had cancer for 25 years and she died. So that's the classic situation, how a person without boundaries will behave. Because I was asked the question, I'll just give a straight honest answer. Now, of course, what happened when I said those words, everyone in the room became freaked out because I spoke, I didn't speak loudly, but I didn't, I didn't whisper. So it, was a, it wasn't a large room, so everyone heard, they all got freaked out, all got thoroughly disturbed. And it's like I'd violated their space because they were there to have a good time. And they didn't want to know about me with my stuff. What I was supposed to do, if I had boundaries and someone said, how are you? I'd say, I'm fine, thank you or yeah, I'm great or I'm good, but actually I wasn't fine, I wasn't great, I wasn't good. So this is an example where if you haven't got boundaries, you can negatively impact other people. And so this woman then spent maybe 10 to 15 minutes trying to solve the situation. She felt really freaked out and disturbed and upset. 
and she wanted to give to me but she thought shit what are things about me life just died died in a horrible way it's terrible right i want to give him a bit of energy and she made a promise she said to me well some other time after the party we'll be in touch i don't want to support you with this i want to help you with this of course i never heard from her again because actually she was not really telling the truth but she wanted to feel like she was a good person so she wanted to say something whereby she would feel kind of okay about herself and I understand that, that's what she needed to do for her really so what I would say is living without boundaries it's very exciting, it's very disturbing and when you do it for long enough you, I've kind of reached a point where it's very difficult to function because of um, energy and what I also realised in my interaction with people there are so many people that are struggling and suffering in their lives at the moment. It's really hard. And my natural tendency is to want to give to that person. Being empathic, then give too much, then get overwhelmed, get exhausted, and have to go and collapse and recover somewhere. And because it's 2019, this pattern has finally revealed itself to me with this really great person in my life who's not in it now, who says, you haven't got any boundaries, so thank you for saying that to me. It took me quite a few weeks to really understand what you're talking about. But because it's 2019, because this is my pattern that's been revealed in this year of revealing, then the daily life events keep unfolding in such a way that even I can't fail to recognise the pattern. So that's great. So I've got a bit of a boundary issue about the sea because the thing is, you see, no one's in the sea. No one. I've walked all along the coast today, no one is in the sea. But I really want and need to get in the sea because I know I've got a lot of negative energy which I picked up from interactions with people yesterday. I need to get it beaten out. But I also need to be safe and not get swept away by the sea. Bit of a, bit of a challenge this, so I'm going to get in, but I'm only going to get in really shallow and let the sea hammer me a bit to the point that I actually get my energy cleansed because I have a real need to do this and I feel fantastic gratitude to actually live close enough to the sea to be able to do this so that's what I'm going to do now so thank you very much for listening as always cheers